In the next part, we want to check whether it uh, does not have an A. So that's what that's the question here, or that's the, the objective to get. So most people would come and say, okay, we know this uh, thing about uh, character classes that we can say not A. And that would be probably the, the solution. Uh, so I say has no A. That's what uh, I'm looking for. And if I save this and run the code, then I get lots of things that has A in it, right? So it has, it, I get strings without an A, but I also get strings with an A. So why is that? Actually, what we wrote here is that there is a character. So you remember, a character class is always saying there is a character. So th there is a character which is not A, meaning Oh, there might be a B, or a C, or a Q. It doesn't matter. No matter what character is there, except of an A, that would already match. So if we look at the res results here, you see, okay, the first string has a Q, and that matches, and that's okay. This one has a Q as well, just after the A. It also has a T, but doesn't really matter. So it just doesn't care if there is an A, it just cares whether there is something that's not A. Just to show one little point here what if we have a a line here that only has a single a in there and if i run the code that doesn't show up because that's the only string that the there is some character which is not a doesn't match so that's the only play case um, so what we need here is a way to say something else here to say as usually it's relatively hard to say in the regular expressions that something is no, something is bad. So it's much easier to say that there is something. So there is an A. So this would match if there is an A, and then the opposite of this is exactly that there is no A. And the way to do the opposite is just to replace this. Replace this with an exclamation mark. And that's it. So if we run this code now, then it will pr print out exactly the lines that don't have any A in them. The next one doesn't have an A nor an E. This is just a combination of this exercise with the, co with the one, two before it, where we had to have an add end. So it doesn't have an A and it doesn't have an E. That's uh, the content. So if we go and run this, then this is not the right uh, solution. Let's see. Oh, because I put in an equal. So that's funny. So this is means actually what I wrote is that doesn't have an A, but it has an E. Which is not what I, we're looking for, but it's an interesting uh, error. So uh, if I want to replace this with a no here as well, then you can see that is no, there's no a and no in in there. So if I run the script, it exactly shows the lines. So the subset of this one, except that it doesn't show the one that has an e in it. The next exercise is has an A but not E. Well, actually, that was or, or the mistake I made earlier, and this is the exercise that I already solved uh, this. So now let's look at uh, the one. So it has two consecutive vowels. So one of these characters, one just after the other. If we switch to the editor, then we need, again, we just need one condition here. It needs to be a matching. And it says that A, E, I, O, or U, one of them. So it means a character class. And then just immediately after it, again the same. A, E, I, O, U. So let's see if there is any such string in our file. If I run the script, I'll get these strings. So you have the O, U here, the A, E. Uh, the AE and the EA. So we had found the solutions. 
uh, we can go through the actual file and see whether manually see whether this is correct but probably it is the next one uh, meaning has three vowels doesn't really matter where so this has two vowels but they need to be one after the other if I want to make sure that they are they, if I don't care if they are one after the other then I can just say that in between them there can be any number of any characters that means just two vowels somewhere and if I need three then I would put another any character and then uh, the set of vowels again and let's see if this has any match in our file and yes so there is the three vowels here there are three vowels here there's more but we don't care about this and this one obviously has three vowels has at least six characters so there are various solutions people people give to this one of them is saying okay let's remove all this so six characters is just one two three four five six so this would mean that this would match six characters so any string that has at least six will be matched by this one and I'm sorry I, I don't I haven't updated uh, the printout part but has so I can just say match doesn't really matter now at this point if I run the script so it will find the long strings, the this one and this one and this one, and, and you see this. This is doesn't care about words actually; it just cares about characters. So the space is a character and so on. And that's a solution if you really need to use regular expressions. But in fact, I would do something different here. I would just say if length dollar line is greater or equal to 6 because this actually expresses exactly what was in the exercise that there is there are at least 6 characters uh, the above one is works but it doesn't it's not clear to, to the reader why do you match 6 dots 6 any characters so why the matching and this result uh, provides the same result and if you look at the next exercise that has exactly six characters well that's uh, just the same so in that case I really really wouldn't use uh, regular expressions especially because that would require some kind of a limitations that we haven't learned yet but in any case we are talking about lengths so I just wouldn't use regular expressions here and that's just part of the funny story that people usually when they're learning regular expressions they think that oh everything have to has to be solved with regular expressions and I keep getting these questions on how do I solve this with regular expressions and not everything needs to be solved with regular expressions so they are really powerful and um, fun to use but there are other tools in the language and that's fine to use the other tools if they've met if they fit the problem space better